Bay, I just saw your question. So yes, you look for similar developments when you when you look at development projects. So that that is in the strategy of developing your feasibility is to actually run feasibilities on other people's properties. So if you if you're looking in an area to develop, you know, the first thing I actually do if I have no idea about an area or a suburb or you know a city. I literally will go on realestate.com and see what people are selling, what developments they're selling. And then I'll look in those areas. I've tried other different methods of trying to find development sites that make money. And literally that's been, I know it sounds so silly, but that's literally been the fastest way I've been able to find sites that are feasible. Because if you find other developers that are selling products, like new products, townhouses, houses, land, it normally leaves a clue that if you've got a successful developer selling that product, development makes money in that area. Makes sense. So if you're like looking at doing land in Sydney, you could just like do, you know, a search around various different suburbs or, you know, just type in Sydney land, just keep flicking through the realestate.com pages and pick out some locations, then click on that land, run the feasibility on that property, see whether they're making money. I'm talking about just running the quick feasibility on there and then have a look at what other developments are under underway in the area. And then, you know, you, if that development makes money, you go, okay, well, that suburb works, put that on the list rather than, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel, just copy somebody else. 